How's it going? Welcome back, my beautiful sinners, to another great video here on The Savior Show. That's right, my sinners, welcome back. How are you doing today? Let me know down below in the comments, okay? And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and like the video or dislike it. It's up to you because, hey, it's a free world. Or is it? I don't know. It's 2020 after all. But anyway, welcome back, my beautiful sinners. If you can support me in any way, that would mean a lot as a small creator. Just check out my music on Spotify that I make and check out the affiliate links down below in the comments and description. Use that for a huge discount on gaming products with Razer. Anyway, my sinners, today we're going to be talking about the new South Park long movie slash episode, South Park Pandemic or the Pandemic episode with South Park, okay? So I'm very, very excited for this because, as you know, I am a huge huge fan of South Park I love South Park okay the games that they made were really really good basically everything that South Park has ever produced has been pretty much amazing now I do think that the later series of South Park kind of lost a little bit of their charm as you know time went on I feel like the earlier seasons from season 4 to season 12 in my view are the peak golden years of South Park. They were the best because it was all about the four boys going off on different adventures, tackling, you know, hot topics of the current times, obviously not anymore. Um, but then with the later seasons, they kind of did this new style of pretty much making each episode kind of relate to the next one, which I do also quite like because, you know, South Park was very good because it wasn't like Family Guy, it wasn't just relying on slapstick, you know, uh, quick humour that doesn't really make any sense, you know, just jump cuts and, uh, you know, these really low brow kind of easy jokes to make. South Park was all about, you know, satire and, you know, satire is really, really the best form of comedy, especially now because it feels like we're living in a parallel universe where the world just doesn't make sense, you know, the whole progressive, uh, you know, trendy wave that happened in the last couple of years. South Park tackled that very well. And, you know, they just tackle all the relative topics of modern day society, which I really, really like. Because, my sinners, did you know that we live in a society? I didn't know that. I thought we were living in some kind of crazy pandemic world where we have to stay in our houses or we will be shot down by the government. You know, it's very, it's very, uh, very confusing to me, but I guess South Park isn't really parody anymore. I guess South Park is reality. Anyway, so the new episode of South Park, South Park Pandemic, South Park, the Pandemic movie slash episode is going to come out pretty soon this month, and I'm so, so excited for it. And I just thought about, you know, I need to talk about this new South Park Pandemic thing, because this is actually not only going to be hilarious and actually ease a lot of people's tensions when it comes to what we're living in right now, the pandemic and all that kind of stuff. You know, a lot of people are worried for both reasons. You know, one side of the argument is people are super worried because they think that this is a super serious disease and, you know, it's a very, very dangerous. And then we have the other side, the logical side, which is pretty much worried about our human rights and our freedoms. Um, but South Park is going to be very, very important in this conversation because yes it's a comedy show yes it's you know just satire but actually South Park has had a huge influence with you know society in general and the modern world you know yes they're always you know it's a parody of life but actually as times have gotten on you know as times have progressed you know South Park pretty much isn't a parody anymore it's pretty much like real life which is why it's even more funny and kind of tragically you know, sad, but funny at the same time, because now in the last, like, five years, South Park has really captured, you know, the kind of degrading uh, demoralization and this uh, progressive attitude towards, you know, the mainstream media, uh, modern media, and basically just society in general with the political stuff and also the social uh, you know, climate of how things are constantly changing, cancel culture, and, you know, just how all this kind of stuff comes together, and South Park has always tackled and handled these, you know, 
uh, different things so well. So I'm really, really excited for him to tackle the pandemic because, yes, they're going to make a huge joke out of it. They're going to make, you know, a great episode out of it. It's going to be a long episode because there are so many things to make fun of in this current times with the pandemic, you know, the silly stuff that we have to wear, the new regulations, you know, but at the same time of making it a funny parody, okay, which is of course why everyone watches South Park, because it's hilarious, but also they are going to actually draw real life parallels like they always do, and you know, by doing this they're actually going to be able to spread a good positive message, I hope, you know, to do with the pandemic, and hopefully they're going to draw out, you know, why it's so ridiculous, some things, why, you know, the regulations have gone over the top, and, you know, hopefully this is going to wake up some people. Now, I'm not saying it's all crazy and it's all, you know, a big lie. I'm definitely not saying that. But I do definitely think things have gotten out of control. I can't really go too much into detail about it because you've got to be very careful what you say. Obviously, be safe, be careful. Just think for yourself and look at the data for yourself. That's all I have to say about it. But anyway, South Park is really going to be able to have a unique perspective and a unique voice when it comes to do with the pandemic. And they're actually going to be able to change people's perception of the pandemic, even though it's a comedy. You know, the best form of comedy is truth. And that's why comedians are basically like spokesman people now. The days, you know, Joe Rogan. Uh, Bill Burr, you know, all these people, they, you know, speak a form of truth, you know, their truth, their reality. And although it's funny, it doesn't mean that it's not true. So I really think South Park, the pandemic episode, is actually really, really important with modern day society. South Park pandemic episode will be important. It will be amazing. The South Park pandemic episode will be amazing. I have no doubt about that. I'm so looking forward to this. You know, they've done amazing you know, South Park movies before where we've strung, you know, episodes together to make a movie like South Park the Imagination Land, uh, you know, the, the whole superhero one, the Game of Thrones one, you know, they're just really good at tapping into what's going on right now and making light of the situation, making it funny, but also really showing people how ridiculous humanity really is because, let's be honest, we are literally, we might as well be a cartoon because we are so so stupid in how we function as a species, how we, you know, function as a society. And I really think that this is an important time. And South Park has always been offensive, especially now in modern day times when everyone's a triggered little snowflake, you know, but that's what I love about it. It's not gonna, it doesn't apologize. It hates Hollywood. It hates the mainstream media. It hates how, you know, everything is basically one giant lie or everything has an agenda behind it. South Park just talks about their truth and their type of comedy, like I said, is this really dark satire, which I absolutely love. I'm sure it's going to offend a lot of people, but I really hope that South Park, the pandemic episode, doesn't hold, you know, back. It doesn't restrain itself. It goes full on South Park with the current 2020 climate. And I really hope that it's going to be amazing. I really hope that they don't hold back. So yeah, those are my opinions on South Park the Pandemic and why you should be excited for South Park the Pandemic and why actually this new episode, this new movie of South Park the Pandemic is actually really, really important and why it's going to be so amazing and you should definitely watch it. Even if you're not a fan of South Park, I think it's, you know, <laughs> it's going to be great and I'm just so, so looking forward to it. Um, <laughs> I love how people actually get offended by South Park, you know, celebrities get annoyed by it. The creators, I just love them so much. They're just so anti-establishment, they're so anti-Hollywood, you know, they went to Hollywood, uh, the Oscars or something, I can't remember what it was, on LSD. You know, they are just next level, you know, they have their own creative vision, and they go for it, and they don't, you know, kind of hide their feelings on how they feel about the modern world and I just love it so much. So yes, South Park, the pandemic will be amazing. It's going to be also important and, you know, many people won't think like this because it's just a cartoon, a funny adult cartoon, but actually unlike things and shows like, um, you know, Rick and Morty or Family Guy, you know, Rick and Morty might have started out with kind of an interesting storyline and an interesting plot and an interesting message behind it. You know, it's nihilistic and that really reflects modern day society, but it doesn't really have a core message. 
um, you know, Family Guy is of course just complete trash in my opinion anyway, and it doesn't really have a core message, it's just trying to be, you know, offensive for the sake of being offensive, but South Park, you know, the original episodes, like I said, from season 1 to season 8, they all always ended with, you know, I learned something today. And yes, that may be a little bit preachy, but what I love about South Park is, although it's a joke, although it's satire, it also takes itself seriously, it also has a core message to spread, and, you know, I really think that's why South Park is just the best form of adult satire entertainment out there, and that's why I love it, because it also does have important messages behind it as well as being hilarious and that is the best form of entertainment in my opinion that's what i try and do with my channel but maybe not that well anyway my sinners i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe smash like and all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next video have yourselves a blessed day i am a little bit sick right now i've probably got you know what so i'm just gonna go and lie down and watch the sopranos if you don't mind have yourselves a blessed day and i'll see you in the next video, peace out.